What's up guys? Garo the Cone 23 back again with this week's uh blue uh, don't, don't. <laughs> Hey there guys, Garo the Cone 23 back again with this week's uh Blu-ray update. Again, no DVD this week. And uh yeah, that's pretty much it, so I'll get straight into it. Now these first three I got in the um, HMV 3 for £20 offer. Uh first off I'll show the one that I haven't seen yet. We have a uh, girl most likely. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched this one yet. Um Looking forward to it. I'm not the biggest fan of Chris and Wig, to be quite honest, but I'm a big fan of the directors. Uh, I can't remember the name. Uh, Shari Springer Bergman and Robert, and Robert Pulcini, who directed um, one of my favourite uh, biopics of American Splendour. And I want to check this one out. So I heard kind of good things about it, and like I said, I'm a big fan of the directors. It looks like a, a really good, a really cool, uh, a cool story about this. It's basically this 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 woman who kind of doesn't know what she wants with her life. I think she's in out of rehab or something, I think, and she kind of meets this guy. And I don't know the exact, obviously, the, the whole thing, because I've never seen it, because I haven't seen it yet. Uh, this did have a slip cover, but uh, it's just a piece of cardboard, so I chucked it away. Um, but yeah, uh, this came out not actually that long ago, and I thought it was like DVD only, but obviously not, because I've got the Blu-ray here, here, right here. Um, a bit of a surprise, a surprise spot, because usually, I mean, because in my HMV, they have a pretty uh, shitty selection in 3 for 20 at least not kind of newer titles. But this one looks like a like decent, like decent watch. Got some special features on there. you got uh, let's have a look. Uh, making of, deleted scenes, um, life in the shell. I'm guessing that's probably another feature out or something. And a gag reel. I apologise if you can hear any other noise because there's uh, someone watching something upstairs. But yeah, it looks like a decent one. So yeah, first up is Girl Most Likely. And the next one is a film I've seen like loads and loads of times, uh, mainly when I was younger. I might actually watch, watch this one tonight, actually, because I haven't seen it for a few years, actually. And it is um, Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, which is the first film. Uh, now, there's no extra features listed on the back, so I don't know if there is any, but this is an upgrade from DVD. I've got the DVD right there, I'm pretty sure it has quite a lot of special features, so uh, if you want to see them, I can watch the DVD. But yeah, really funny film. Uh, Mike Myers is brilliant in this one. Um, I do prefer the second one that a little bit more, but this one is still really enjoyable. Um, love that bit where he gets get, where he gets stuck in the uh, he gets stuck in that really small corridor. <laughs> I love that. Bit. Uh, I'll get you some orange sherbet. Really funny film. I was there, might watch this one tonight. I haven't seen it for quite a few years actually, but. Um, Yep, that's Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. And the last, and the last one in the 3 for 20 is a, a film that I watched the first time on, I believe it was Monday or Tuesday. Really, really loved this film. It is a, The Truman Show. Never seen this film, heard a lot of good things about it. I believe it's about 235 in um, IMDb Top 250, uh, which I actually didn't know about, which I'm really, well, I'm not surprised at, but, um, but yeah. Oh, really, really good film. This just, just the plot is just, is just brilliant. It's basically about this. Well, I think most people have seen it, but basically about this guy called uh, Truman, Truman Burbank, who basically uh, his life, his whole life from birth has been part of an elaborate um, uh, TV show, and basically everyone in the world knows who this guy is. They've been following him for from from birth, really. And it's just an amazingly good idea. It's when was it in ninety seven? Uh, no, ninety eight. Really, really ahead of its time in nineteen ninety eight. I mean, the the things in this are probably more relevant nowadays because you've got things like Big Brother and kind of reality shows like that. But really, really satirically, really, really funny. Uh, some great acting by Jim Carrey. Possibly the best performance from him I've, I've ever seen. Possibly. Um, I think I need to watch this one a few more times to really appreciate how good the film is, but I did, really did really did like this one. Um, and some of the content in this is totally effed up. I mean, the um, the like the the elaborate lengths these people go to to kind of make this to this TV show about his life is absolutely incredible. Like the lies that, the lies they tell him, like his best friend turns out to be just another actor. Um, who's, who's basically kind of like being paid to become his friend. It's really, really funny. Uh, like I say, satirically really, really good. Um, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm going to be watching, the, watching this a few more times because I really, really did like this one. And uh, yeah, that's the Truman Show. I love that. I've always loved that picture. I've seen kind of um, like pictures and I think I might have seen like clips of it. 
Um, I've never seen it full way through, but really, really enjoyed this one. A big surprise for me. I didn't really, didn't think I'd enjoy it quite as much, but there you have it. So yeah, that's the Truman Show. And then next up is let's have a look. Well, I don't know how old they're going. Uh, next up is uh, a film that. I wasn't that keen on when I first saw it. I saw it at a, uh, at a free screening um, kind of about a week or two before it came out. I wasn't that taken with it, to be honest. Um, basically, it's Calvary, starring um, Brendan Gleeson. you got loads of other people on there. you got um, and Kelly Riley, Aid Aidan Gillen. Uh, I'm pretty sure Aidan Gillen was in this just on a break, literally on a break from Game of Thrones, because he had the exact same um, kind of beard, you know, the uh, Van Cleef or whatever it is. Um, I'm pretty sure he's probably on his like off days. He probably went up, <laughs> he uh, travelled to Ireland and did, and did these. I uh, uh, think although it's filmed in Belfast, so probably not that far to go. But anyway, really, oh, I don't know. I just hated most of the characters in this, apart from obviously Brendan Gleeson's character because you're meant to kind of uh, feel for him. But just the the horribleness and this the vitriol that comes out of these people's mouths. They actually despise him, and I no, I no idea why. I mean, you got it. Also, kind of features like more or less every single Irish actor working today. You got Marco Hallman in a little scene. You got a really cool scene between um, Brendan and his son Dom, uh, Domnall. I don't know if that's his name or Domnall uh, Gleeson as a um, as a killer. And um, who else you got? Um, also, you got like Dylan Moran. Um, who else have we got? We have. Uh, uh, Chris O'Dowd, um, uh, yeah, Donald Gleeson, but, uh, a really good, uh, really good cast. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't pay much for this. I, I only paid a tenner from uh, several on AV forums. Um, I was going to pick it up in HMV, but I decided against it. And to be honest, I don't know how many times I've watched this film. It just really left kind of a sour taste in my mouth that I didn't really like. Um, it's not a bad film at all. It looks really, really good. It, the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. This, this, uh, this town, the kind of it, the film, this film that they filmed this film in, looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, uh, and also basically, I saw this film at the cinema, and I didn't really laugh that much, even though it's supposed to be kind of like a, a comedy, kind of comedy drama, whatever. But the thing with me, when I'm watching a film in the cinema, if I don't find something funny and everyone else does, I just don't laugh. But I thought with it, like watching it at home, it'd be better because I'd be able to just kind of like laugh at the bits I wanted to laugh at and just not laugh at the other at the rest of it. But I, I probably liked it less the second time. If I don't know, it's just I guess I got like kind of like a love hate relationship with this film. Uh, but yeah, it. If, I don't even know what, to, what else to say really, and I've probably said enough really. Uh, but yeah, it's a decent enough film. I'd say, I'd say give it a rent first, it's not going to be for everybody, and it wasn't really for me. Like I said, I don't know how long I'm going to be keeping this, but I'll keep it for now, but I might be, I might kind of um, sell it on not too in the not too distant future. So yeah, that's Calvary. And the next up is, as I'll show the one that I, oh well, anyway, yeah, the next one is another film that kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. We have uh, The Veteran, starring Toby Kebble. We've also got a Brian Cox and Ashley Thomas, who I believe is a rap artist. Uh, Bashy, I think his name is. Uh, this wasn't that good. I mean, Toby Kebbell is good in it. He's a really good actor. Um, anyone watching the US, you might know him from um, maybe Rock and Roller, or um, he played, I can't remember what his name is, but the villain ape in a Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, really good performance, again, with him. Uh, obviously, he's in my um, favourite film of all time, Dead Man's Shoes. But yeah, uh, I didn't really like this one. It kind of, it was kind of boring to. Oh, I'll say this though, it was boring for like the first, I don't know, however long it was. But the last kind of 10, 15 minutes was, wow. I mean, it was this ma like this like this massive shootout between him and all these like these these kids on the estate, and it was shot really really well. And the ending is an absolute downer. I was totally depressed after I saw this. Um, Lost on it. This is spoiler. Basically, he kind of goes. You guys shooting shooting these people up, and basically he goes into a kind of an apartment block and accidentally kills a woman um, who's looking after a child, which, which is bad enough really. Um, and then he kind of like he shoots all these these people, and then he gets shot in the neck. And basically, he goes into his room, uh, kind of sits on the bed, 
or not the bed, the kind of the the, uh, the sofa settee, whatever. And basically, this little kid, but uh, and also kind of like throughout the film, like his friend, his friend's little brother was kind of um, like hanging around with this gang. And basically, the kid comes in and shoots him in the head, and then it just ends. It really, I don't know. It really, it was it was an interesting one. I'll say that. Um, I don't think I liked it. Um, there were too kind of too many um, kind of uh, story strands left unanswered. Um, some of the I couldn't I can't hardly hear some of, uh, some of the dialogue. Um, I don't know. I just didn't really like it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really like it. I think it would have given like a four or a five. Um, but yeah, again, I don't know how long I'm going to be keeping this one for. But it's an interesting watch. I think it's probably on Netflix. I think so. If you're a fan of um, uh, kind of British. I guess gangster films, uh, you might like it, but I really didn't that much. It was kind of boring. Um, like I said, the last 15 minutes, it wasn't that good. Anyway, so that's a veteran. And the last two I actually did unboxings of, so I'm not going to show kind of in too, deep, too much detail. First up, we have Captain America the Winter Soldier in 3D. I've got it in one of these um, uh, plastic uh, things so it doesn't scratch. Well, it doesn't scratch anymore, there's a little bit of scratch on the back. Um, heard a lot of good things about this, uh, haven't seen it, um, basically I'm planning, well I'm not really planning, but eventually I'm going to do kind of a um, a, like a Marvel um, Marvel movie marathon, uh, I might even call it that, and kind of watch all the ones back to back, because I mentioned this before, but the only ones I've seen are um, Iron Man 3 and The Avengers, uh, The Avengers I didn't really want that keen on, but yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go, I heard it's, I heard it's one of, if not the best Marvel films ever made, so it looks like a decent one. So yeah, also I'll, uh, again the back. I don't need to show you the whole of it. Cause it's, uh, it's in the unboxing video. Uh, actually, I might link. I might li uh, put a link to the unboxing videos of these. But yeah, that's Captain America: The Winter Soldier. The last title in this update was again one I did an unboxing of, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. We have uh, the Toxic Avenger here, the um, HMV exclusive with a uh, exclusive slip cover. With, um, the original poster artwork, and then I've kind of swapped the cover around, and then the um, poster as well on the disc. And uh, yeah, there's the back you want to see here again, covering the uh, very violent and gory picture there. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's 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 trauma. It's uh, <laughs> uh, most people who've at least seen a trauma film, uh, they say that to them, and they know exactly what you're talking about. The, the full head crushing scene, of course, uncut for the first time in the UK. Uh, like I mentioned in the unboxing video about um, the DVD, it was like really heavily cut, which is like really, really funny. Which I still had it to kind of compare the two, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty damn good on Blu ray as well. And I have heard that the transfer by 88 Films, which is this one, is a, is a uh, transfer of, um, is better. No, let me start again. I've heard that the transfer by 88 Films of this Blu-ray is better than the transfer that Troma did for the Blu-ray in the US. Um, I did read the uh, Blu-ray.com review of the US disc, I'm hoping that they might do a review of the UK one as well. I want to really kind of see if it, if it is actually better. I've always just um, considered that, but it looked pretty damn good on Blu-ray. There are a few scenes when the kind of the, um, the I guess the camera or the, the the shot or something kind of go really really soft like in soft focus for some reason like for a few seconds but apart from that it looked really pretty damn good obviously there'd be kind of like a lot of grain and um kind of little little speckles now and then but um they're not that noticeable but yeah there we have the toxic avenger so yeah that'll about do for this update so uh, a decent uh sized stack of stuff if i get them Really? Right, let's start again. So yeah. Hang on one second. Uh, there we go. So uh the other way around. Uh, a decent size sack of stuff. Now we have two, four, six, seven titles. Oh god, there's no point doing that. Fuck's sake, they're gonna fall over again. Anyway. So yeah, that'll do for this update. Thanks as always uh, for watching. Uh, must be another one of these next week. Um, I don't know what the next video will be. Um, I really don't. But <laughs> uh, most likely, probably be um, maybe a quick unboxing. Maybe I'm not quite sure. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Have a great day.